I've got some horrible news to tell you guys. It's our last day here in Oahu, Hawaii. Can it you believe is. it? I know. What a bummer. It's been an amazing week. We have uh, we have battled the weather, the elements. We've gone through the ringer to uh, to try to have as much fun as we could. Um, you know, dodging thunderstorms and, and flooding along the way. And, uh, and here we are. It's the last day. Sharon, what do we got lined up? What's the goal today? Well, we're trying to fit in a couple things that we haven't been able to do yet. And... Um, before it starts raining once again and then we want to get back to the hotel and just actually spend some time at the pool we have not spent mm. any time at the pool hotel or the beach area although the beach it's been pretty rainy um, so but anyways this morning we're gonna try to head out to the Dole Plantation um, the green um, coffee farm so I want to pick up some coffee while I'm here and then if the weather has not turned on us we're gonna venture out a little further and go down to turtle bay so that's the plan we'll see we'll how that see goes how much we accomplish well the good thing is if we get back in and get in the pool later and it rains it doesn't matter because yeah. we'll be in the pool anyway so uh, matthew any final words before you're set out on your last day mahalo nice buddy look <laughs> at you speaking the language all right guys so let's get out of here come on what's the fastest route out of here look there's an open window let's go there Well, if you need a little extra energy to start the day, what better way to do it than to hit the Honolulu coffee place here at the Prince Waikiki. I got a little coffee, Sharon's getting a bagel, we got a macadamia nut cookie, and uh, that's gonna get the party started. Okay, well, for the first time since we got here, I'm putting a little gas in the tank. This Jeep has done us right. We're getting about 20 miles to the gallon with this bad boy. Uh, we pulled over to uh, a Texaco, and it said, use your safe rate reward points. So I did, I put in our phone number, and what do you know, we just saved 20 cents a gallon. That is awesome. Thanks, Hawaii. Um, uh, gas right now, guys, 354. 354 a gallon here for unleaded regular at the uh, Texaco. And we are at the corner of King and uh, Picoy. If I'm saying that right, I'm probably not. So that's the deal. And just getting loaded up with some gas so we can make it to the other side of the island. Getting a little bit of a light drizzle here. We'll see what the rest of the day brings. Rain, rain, go away. Come again some other day. Well, good morning, everyone. We are about 30 minutes away from Waikiki Beach at the Green World Coffee Farm. So we wanted to come out here and check out the coffee farm, get some great coffee. I hear they have some nice samples in there. They have a gift shop. You can purchase coffee beans as well as some specialty Hawaiian items. So we're going to go inside and check it out and see what we can find to bring home with us to Arizona. So many things. Which one are you trying? I'm trying the 
trying the caramel macadamia nut coffee. They also have a peanut butter cup coffee, which I don't know, that sounds interesting. Um, but I don't think that's my cup of, cup of coffee, so to speak. <laughs> har, 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 har. Uh, All right. This is pretty hot though, I can tell. That's hot, don't suck it. It's really good. It's really good. It, I was expecting it to be a little sweeter though when they said caramel. I don't really taste the caramel at all. A little bit of the macadamia nut, but not the caramel. I'm, I'm this is an espresso blend. I think I definitely have to get some of that. I'm really curious about this one. I'm not really sure. Uh, well, give it a shot. Analiolo. Give it a shot. Yeah, they do have an espresso blend, but it's not. Gotta get the North Shore blend. Have to get a few of those. Laurie, latte. Looks like Sharon found the mother load here at Green World. Well, there you have it. Sharon's doing her part to support the local business here. And while you are Green World Coffee Farm, make sure you come and check them out. They got a little bit of everything here and a lot of delicious coffee. The samples are fantastic, by the way. Well, I'm really glad we stopped at the Green World Coffee Farm. I found all kinds of coffee and trinkets to purchase. I mean, we love coffee. Um, we wanted to bring a few coffees home just to try all the different flavors. So I can't wait to get home and try all those different flavors. And there you go. Now we're off. To the Dole Plantation. Well, we made it to the Dole Plantation in Oahu, Hawaii. Um, I'm so excited to be here. This is one of the places that I really wanted to visit. I love pineapple. You know, some of you know I love pineapple pizza. Um, there's several things to do here. There's a train ride, which we are going to try to do today. There's a maze you can walk through, and also a garden tour. I don't know if we'll be doing those two today because. Um, it's really rainy today. Things are kind of flooded out. Um, but we're going to definitely try to do the train ride and we are going to have lunch here. That's a big thing. I want to eat at the Plantation Grill, have lunch, um, because I've already been eyeing up the menu online and I already know what I'm going to order. So let's come on in and see what, um, before it starts raining here, <laughs> and check out the inside. Before it starts raining, it's already raining. It Sharon. is raining. Let's go. All right, here comes Sharon behind me. You know, it's funny, she is so excited. This was almost the number one place she wanted to see when she came here. She is a pineapple freak, loves pineapple and anything that has to do with pineapple. And she's super excited to be here. So I'm really happy for her. Don't tell her I told you this though, okay? I don't want to seem like an old softie. So it literally started pouring here on us. Just as we got all of our, our rain jackets and we're all covered up, it, um, Look at Jamie. <laughs> and Matthew. The sun peeks through for a quick second and the rain stopped. But it looks like there's more coming. So we're ready. All right, so here we are on the platform. Um, we will be on the next train. One train's pulling away now. There's one more train, according to Eva. Hi, Eva. Thanks for being so nice and talking to us in line. We appreciate it. And um, we're getting ready to go on the Pineapple Express train tour. I am so excited. I'm a little scared of trains. I hope it doesn't go too fast. You think it'll oh be okay? Oh my gosh, I think it's gonna go pretty slow. Okay, cool. All right, good stuff, good stuff. So here we are, we're on the platform. We're next. We made it, we made it. We're on the train. Train ride has started. Woohoo! Oh my God, it's so fast. We're at least two miles an hour right now. <laughs> Aloha, and welcome aboard the Pineapple Express train tour. This two-mile, 22-minute train ride will take you through a working plantation of pineapple and other crops.
we have completed that very, very exciting um, train ride there here at the Dole Plantation. Uh, we learned some good stuff. We heard some good pineapple-oriented music. And um, Sharon, what's one thing you took away from that train ride? Anything particular that really piqued your interest? Well, I just, I really enjoyed just uh, what, looking at all the things they grow here. And um, they really stress the fact that when you to choose your pineapple, you need to make sure you choose a firm pineapple, not a soft one, because mm. the soft pineapples are bruised. And once they're picked, they no longer ripen. So, wow. Um, all right and you know what i learned is that if you do have a pineapple and you're not quite ready to eat it yet and you take it home mm. put it in the fridge That's guys right. refrigerate that pineapple and then it will last longer so from us here to you those are your pineapple tips of the day from sharon okay. at sea travel okay. all right so we're in line to get into the store where the restrooms are and they aren't doing temperature checks for everybody they're all about social distancing and they're very safe here at the dole plantation i gotta admit that nothing wrong with that here's how it works Oh, that's my daughter-in-law. Alright, so we made it in to the um I, I don't even know what you'd call this. It's like a mini mall. It's a pineapple mall. This place has everything you want. There is shopping. Um there is jewelry, multiple restrooms. Uh, they do a pineapple demonstration on how to cut a pineapple every, I don't know if it's 30 minutes or what. They have the plantation grill. They've got it all here at the Dole place. This is definitely a place you want to bring, a, bring your pocketbook because you can spend a lot of money. And that's what I'm afraid Sharon might be doing, so we better find her right now. So I got this for Luke. Um, they had um, some pineapple that we had on our room service and it had like a little orange, like almost like a sugar coating or something on it. It was really good. And it was this, Lihing pineapple. So I'm gonna get a couple of Did you of say these. what? Li Hing? Oh, Li Hing, I'm sorry. Li I don't know, it could be Li Hing. Anyways, it could be Li Hing. But it was, so, it was really good. So I got a couple of these to take home. And these are kind of cute, so I had to pick up a couple of those. All right, well, let's cash those out and get in okay. line for food because there's a All line right. over there. Let's go. Let's go. Here's a cashier right over here. Let me okay. guide you right to one. Oh. Out of grill. Man, we ordered our food at the Plantation Grill. You may see a cheeseburger. You might see a teriyaki chicken sandwich. You might even see a pork quesadilla. And, of course, there's definitely a pineapple dole whip going on. So, uh... I'm waiting to pick up the food. I'm in the pickup line. Matthew, Sharon went out to go get a table for us. It's finally time to put some food in our bellies here at the Dole Plantation. I can't believe how much food they, they gave us for the price. Three chicken breasts, um, like half chicken breasts, and two big scoops of rice, salad. I mean, it was enough for two people, really. You're gonna have to finish this, Jamie. Well, if I have to. All right, well, we wrapped up a great lunch, and now we're getting ready to wrap up our trip here to the Dole Plantation. We'll just get Sharon rounded up. Um, Matthew, have you seen your mom anywhere? I think she's shopping. Oh, for crying out loud, Sharon. <laughs> you can I want one of these bracelets for myself. Oh my God, stop. You're out of your mind. We just wrapped up our day at the Dole Plantation. Um, we had a wonderful day here. Uh, we did choose to do the train ride, which I will be perfectly honest, it was a little underwhelming. Although we did get a lot of information about the Dole Plantation on the train ride and we got to see a lot of the plants and um, so th that was pretty cool. It would be great, especially for young kids. We didn't do the maze or the walk around um, tour because of the weather. So those may be a, a, a better option to, to do. Um, they're a little bit less. We paid $12 per person for the train ride. Um, so it was $36 for all three of us. So, you know, a little pricey for the three of us for, for what it was. Then we enjoyed a wonderful lunch though. I will say it is, if we could just come here for lunch, I mean, it would be great. 
the food was amazing the dole whip was great and of course they have a wonderful gift shop inside with so much to choose from like i don't know you could spend a lot of money there so we are going to head out of here now um, and see what other adventures we can find to do today on our last day here on oahu what's going on everybody jamie and sharon here we are getting ready for a big big night on the town we finished up a great afternoon at the pool that was awesome wasn't we it we needed that little relaxation a little sunshine we got some sunshine today it was unbelievable we did, we did. and it still has not started raining tonight so we are actually going to walk to dinner because oh it's gosh. not that far That's right. um, we're going to go to the um, blue water shrimp and seafood restaurant they have a lot of seafood they have steak for matthew and they even have a couple local dishes like local moco local which moco i might have that's burgers <laughs> rice and brown gravy i don't know what the big deal is but you can have it and and if it's amazing then i will owe you an apology and say that's amazing um yeah so we're gonna walk there it's approximately seven minutes as the crow flies or something like that and hopefully there'll be no downpour of rain either on the way there or back we're gonna head out for an amazing dinner we'll take you with us um uh, and and show you what we have and, and how our yeah. final night on the island goes it's just us enjoying our final evening together right yeah Mwah. sharon's wearing a gorgeous dress we'll show you that later i'm wearing a handsome shirt sharon are you ready to go i'm ready let's go mask up let's go get that mask on our last view of the city Oh, that looks pretty. So it's a short seven to ten minute walk from our hotel over to the Hilton Hawaiian Village where the restaurant's located. Oh, it's very dark here, so you can hardly see us. And it's sprinkling on us. <laughs> we just said it wasn't going to rain. Okay, we have arrived at the place, Blue Water Shrimp and Seafood Market. A little different than what we thought it might be. Uh, we, when Sharon talked to him online, it sounded more like a dine-in type of establishment. This is more like a, a place with a full menu, but you're gonna kind of get your food and eat anywhere you can around here. There's a selection of some tables, but we may be on our own to find some place to sit down. So we're gonna take a look, see what we can put together, and we'll see how it goes. The food that we're seeing looks amazing. Well, as luck would have it, a table opened up, we swooped right in and grabbed it, and now we're sitting comfortably in one of only, I don't know, six tables here. This place is packed, busy as crap, and, uh, and now we're going to have a nice dinner here. And we have a little roof over our head, so if it drizzles, we cool. We cool. Hey, all right, so I'm on a little bit of an adventure here. So um, you saw that we just scored a table. Uh, at the restaurant or the market or the market restaurant, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I got a Diet Coke because when we ordered, I was like, what's happening? Where are we going to eat? Are we going to sit on, at a table on the lawn, on a park bench? I had no idea. But now that we got a table, I'm very excited. And I thought, you know what? I'd like a cold beer. So I asked the guy that works here, do you guys have cocktails or beers? He said, no, we don't. But the ABC store is right there. He said, you can go ahead and grab something and bring it back over. So. I'm gonna make a run in the ABC store, grab a cold brewski, and enjoy that with my supper. He shoots, he scores. Look at my drink for the night. I couldn't go home without having a fancy pineapple drink. It's the last night, so this is it. What kind of alcohol is in there? Actually, unfortunately not. It's just a pineapple smoothie. They don't have alcohol here, but it looked tasty and I wanted it. So, and it's good. Fantastic. All right. Now. Oh, hey. Oh. But they are paper straws. Oh. <laughs> All right, Matthew, what'd you get? I got the sirloin steak and a cheese quesadilla. Looking good, son. Looking good. And Sharon, what did you get over there? I got the Hawaiian barbecue guava chicken. Wow. 
All right, so I got an appetizer, which is the fried fried calamari. Now this is a calamari steak, and it's cut into strips, so that looks fantastic. And then for my entree, oh boy, I got the scallops. Oh my gosh, look at those scallops. I got the brown rice, comes with also with some potato salad. I am in heaven, that's gonna be amazing. So first things first, let's hit this calamari, shall we? Sharon, so what is the consensus on dinner tonight? Um, it was, mine was really good. I couldn't finish it because there was way too much chicken. And I had chicken for lunch, so maybe I'm a little chickened out, but. But it was really good. And I'm here to tell you that the calamari appetizer was awesome. My scallops were, they were okay. I wasn't blown away by them. Right, so the consensus was, um, you know, with Matthew's food, that uh, the steak was a little fatty. And and I tried it, and I don't disagree. Uh, it, unlike the, the steak shack the other day, where the meat was just delicious, and every bite was mouth-watering, uh, this one left a little to be desired for. I tried it just to make sure. I was on the same page with them, and that indeed is the case. And otherwise, um, that's it. So a little rain's coming in. We're gonna wrap it up. We're gonna go back to the room, reminisce about the amazing week we had, watch Sharon pack us up and get us ready to get the heck out of here because we gotta get up at like 4, 4.30 in the morning to catch a flight and get back to Phoenix. Well, guys, it's time for sad faces. Mm. <laughs> you know what sad face means? Sharon, what's sad face mean? It means it's time to go home from vacation. Oh no, that's <laughs> terrible news. Matthew, are you bummed out? I am bummed out. Wow, it's been a great, uh, it's been a great week or so here, almost a week in Hawaii. Even considering the rain, the crazy, crazy weather, the change of plans on a minute-to-minute -minute basis, <laughs> we had a damn good time, didn't we, guys? We did. Mm -hmm. we, we did. did. Mm -hmm. We did. It was a fun adventure. Now, I guess it's time to go home and plan the next one. So we're not upset and depressed over um, having to go home. <laughs> yeah, Sharon's already working on the next trip to Hawaii to do all the things that we wanted to do that we couldn't do this time. Yeah, and even more. Even more? Like another island? Oh, God. As long as I don't have to climb up Diamond Head again, I mean, I'm, my body is still aching from that. No, but there's the waterfalls that we missed, Jay. Oh, geez, more hiking, more <laughs> hiking. Guys, so that's a wrap here from us here at Sharon at Sea Travel. From, from me, Sharon, Matthew... Everyone behind the scenes, thanks so much for everything. It was a great, great week. And until the next time, safe travels, everyone. We'll see you again soon. <laughs>